individual by the name of uh, Disco to Go, which is featured on their new album uh, called uh, Funk or Walk, which was uh, produced by George Clinton. Okay, what's the history of the brides? I mean, were they were they actually cloned by the good Dr. Frankenstein? Well, I guess you could uh, say they were cloned and maybe even stolen. Uh, <laughs> The brides, who consist of uh, Lynn Mabry and uh, Don Silva, uh, used to play with, uh, well, used to sing background behind Sly and the Family Stone. Mm -hmm. A few years back, Sly went on the road with uh, Parliament Funkadelic, and and um, Funkadelic needed some uh, background singers. As a result, George asked the two girls to uh, just sort of uh, stand in a couple of times. Sly didn't really care for it, and eventually he dropped the girls from his act. Mm -hmm. And uh, George Clinton picked them up. Hmm. Hey, does that P-Funk style work well with uh, female groups when they're out front as opposed to being in the background? Well, I, I think it's just my personal opinion that the, the P-Funk style of music would work well with you, Lee. Uh, even if I can't sing? <laughs> even if you can't sing. Uh, with with uh, George Clinton's music, uh, vocals are so incidental. In fact, they're much a part of the music. Uh, they, they mostly, instead of lead vocals, you have things like chants and things done in unison vocally. So the music is really sort of the main thing there, though the vocals do help. Okay, we 